Hey RuneScape, it's iMajorX, and for one, I have been extremely busy in these last couple days, and for two, uh, some reason, a while ago, I decided to turn the record sound off when I, I did a li uh, do a live stream, so uh, the last few times I have recorded this, I have been talking to myself with no purpose. Uh, <laughs> But as you can see, I'm training agility. Now, this is because I haven't used my skull boots yet. <coughs> Actually, as soon as I finish recording this, I will uh, probably set up my screen so I can AFK and watch some anime or something while I do this. Makes it a lot easier. But a couple of things that I wanted to talk about were how I missed stuff. I, I didn't know that the Gnome Stronghold got, had gotten an update yet. Um, but as you can see, there's kind of like an intricate pattern on the... <coughs> Excuse me. There's like an intricate pattern on the floor now as it goes uh, cross hatcheting kind of thing. Down, up, down, up, down, up, that kind of thing. You can see that the net is now even more uh, fancy. The trees have gotten more texturized. And this fence, I actually really like the fence. Um, it It's extremely different compared to what they used to have. And give me a second while I drink this water. All right, that was that was godly. Um, <laughs> sorry, I've already I've already been talking for at least like 20 minutes, and my voice is just shot right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna walk around this um, again. When I first tell you here, actually, I thought I was in Edgeville because if you look right here, it kind of looks like you're in that one little area uh, above, the, or like right before the wildy line, with all these trees going around, and I just thought it was Edgeville. The thing that confused me was the spirit tree. I thought I misclicked, and that they added a new one, and it was kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to walk around and show you guys the majority of the tree gnome stronghold and the updates that it got, and I will talk about other things while I go. So, uh, I still need to do this quest, but, um, so, one of the main updates that has recently happened were the brachimeral bolts um, I don't actually know the real name so I'm going to call them the brachy bolts so the brachy bolts came out with the idea I think Jagex had intended of um, you would uprange so that you could weaken magic because if you hadn't noticed if you are extremely rich and you can afford the storm armadillo spell uh, it's the most OP spell in the game it's so overpowered in my opinion that it's basically pointless to do anything else if you can afford to use Storm of Armadillo. Uh, if you can buy a Storm of, or an Armadillo Battle Staff and Storm of Arm Armadillo, you're pretty much set. It's it's kind of ridiculous. Um, the other thing that they put into the game was basically a cheap version of this of the same thing. It doesn't offer the speed that the Armadillo uh, Staff or the Storm of Armadillo and the Armadillo Battle Staff. Uh, offer but it hits uh, ridiculously high it hits up into 500s I think some people can hit up 600s and stuff but this is the polypore staff now it's actually like a cheap alternative because of just how frequently it drops from gran uh, ganodermics I used to actually camp there for a while because just because it was profitable and you got seeds and it was just overall good magic exp but um as you can see the glider even got a rework, that's kinda cool. Now it looks like... I don't know. Looks cool though. Um, I actually think this whole this whole update looks cool. I, I can't believe I missed it. I haven't been paying attention to the updates for a while. Uh, you can even see like the light streaming down into the game. Um, what was I just talking about? Oh, Polypore Staff? Yeah, it's, it's also really overpowered, and the point of the Bracky Bolts came out with the idea that I think they would readjust the, the triangle so that Mage wouldn't be so overpowered, but I don't think it's going to work, um, mainly because I think the, the Bracky Bolts are crap. Uh, it's, it's impossible to get them. I don't have 93 Fletching, and I don't think I ever will. Or, not ever, but I won't for a really long time. I honestly hate the Fletching skill. It's really boring. Um... That and the, the the bonus that it has, where it has like 
the if you use the torso one, it hits your opponent for one damage every second. It's like, oh, that's cool. So all I have to do is wait 990 seconds, and then my opponent will be dead. Uh, what is the point? That's it's gonna do absolutely nothing compared to like actually hitting. <laughs> so that's just cool for this. Um, but it's it's gonna be doing pretty much nothing compared to what you actually have to deal. Um, the other ones I couldn't see them really be used well, and the only time that you can really use them is when your opponent isn't wearing armor. Uh, when is that happening in a PvP fight, or if your opponent is using uh, magic armor? And if the PvP is still the same as when I used to PvP, and this was like two and a half years ago, and when I last hybrided, it was like I was in A reams and I had dragon claws and a fire cape, and I just uh, I was wrecking first off, but but no one would fight me because I also used range just because I had 99 range at the time. So I thought you know that's how you tr you hybrided, you used all three combat styles, and people were like, oh no man, you don't you don't use range in a in a fight, you just use melee and mage because we're retarded and we don't like switching so often. It's like, oh yeah, yeah um, sorry about using that word. I know some people take offense to it. Um, so I'll I'll try stopping. Uh, but I think that's all I really wanted to touch on on the new bracky bolts. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to touch on was my money stack. It is at 2.254k, uh, two and a quarter mil. Now I would enjoy to get that up. Now this can be done in one of two ways. I can either start bossing um, using those overloads that I got. I can go to tormented demons or I can mine. So uh, one, I have to decide if I want to go bossing for a really long time and get money back. Or uh, what is this? I feel like the tree from Quest. Yeah. Ooh, Yak's almost going to disappear. Or I can mine, uh, get 99 hopefully, and make a lot of money, which I've been trying to do for a really long time, and I will actually do after I use all these skull boot charges. 71% I think? Yes. Uh, so I have to get that up. I also would like to do the, I keep on saying this, I think I say this every video, I want to do that Branches of Dark Mirror quest. Uh, it's really been coming up as they are making the Mortania Achievement Diaries next week, I believe. So, um, it would, I almost guarantee there's going to be a requirement that's going to require the Draken or the, the Branches of Dark Mirror quest, and it would, uh, be really cool if I could do that sometime. I still need to do the Verrock hard quest, not not quest achievement diary, so I can get the torso and I can get extra mining boosts when I'm mining and smithing and yada yada yada. So I'll do that eventually too. But um, so with each of those paths, you guys will receive videos. Um, you can either have videos of me pretty much skilling and everything like I have been making recently. I will be making commentary still, but uh, more towards the commentary side, I could just get on, um, record me playing RuneScape, and then I could be talking about my opinions and stuff like that, stuff that I've been noticing or a general topic, and then kind of go on about that for a while. Or I can follow the other idea where I go tormented demons. And I actually went down there recently to check it out. No one uses range anymore. Everyone's using polypore and melee, so I would have to get used to that. I'd have to get used to using overloads too. My overloads with my Steel Titan, um, polypore, and it would just be a change, but I, I could also make a guide on that because there's not too many on polypore. Or when I looked it up, there weren't too many on polypore against Tormented Demons. Uh, so yeah, I would be doing that also, and making more towards boss guides, more PVM-based material, or I could make um, the branches of Dark Mirror one if if the rewards of Mortania are g <laughs> like poo on my chest. This guy's name is Poo on my chest. <laughs> That's I had to notice that when I just looked down, Poo on my chest. It's like okay. Um, sorry, that was a gross distraction. But the branches of Dark Mirror Quest, I I would make that 
based on the fact that uh, I have enough free time to make it all in one go because I don't want to take breaks making the quest uh, guide. I like to sit down and just do quests, just poof, get it done and over with. I also have the other quests to go, which I hear are very long to do. Um, so sometime if I get around to that, I would make that. So I would like to hear just from you guys what you guys would like to see maybe, um, what sounds good to you. Something that maybe interests you, you guys can tell me about that too. Anything that I've really been discussing um, recently. Just go ahead and throw it out there and I will take uh, I will take advantage of you and use your ideas because <laughs> that's, that's something that I like to do. Uh, but I think I think that is the majority of what I wanted to say. I don't remember um, if I had anything else in my mind. Oh. One thing I also wanted to mention, um, if I start going down the PVM path again, there would be uh, spread out areas of time where I have to go get those new PVM items pretty much. Like, if I wanted to go hardcore PVM, I would have to spend a, a pretty, pretty decent amount of time going, one, to uh, get my chaotic, get some chaotics. Two, I would have to get the new like dread nips and gloves and etc etc. I would also have to um, I don't know that might be it. That might be it. But I would have to start pretty much building building PVM status again, which which is it, it's rough to get back into in my opinion. Uh, so so pretty much. Just choose choose which one you guys want to see. I'll I'll probably be doing all of them actually, like in unison. And as I get on, I will be doing all these different things that I now have options to do. And uh, I just kind of want to hear what you guys want to see first, and maybe I will make that sooner rather than later. So yeah, thank you. And I will be coming out obviously with more videos because I have I just named at least forty more ideas that I have. I just named a bunch of ideas that I have for videos. So hopefully I make those videos um, coming soon. And thank you guys for listening to me. I hope it wasn't too boring. And I just want to say thank you. That was over the top. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hey, everybody. It's I'm Edge Rex. Uh, what am I doing here? I am actually going to show you my sword trip. I'm just a little bit of it. And I'm going to show you my sword trip.